Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital-delirium.com. As always, I am your host, Joystick, and with me this week, returning after a fairly long hiatus, is (laughs) T-Bag. Say hello to the people, T-Bag, you're back. I'm not happy about it either. Well, neither are the fans, (laughs) so there you go. The fan. The fan. Big, anyway. Big Mo is pissed off that you're back. He's <laughs> talking to the black void of the internet right now. <laughs> just it's, talk, it's just cold out there. If there weren't four other people in the room, I'd be talking to myself. <laughs> it's, At least there's four other people in the room. Do you want my hat? Would that make you feel Three better? other people in no. the room. I think it would make you look better. No, it's... So go with the shirt. We're almost wearing the same shirt. We are, but yours is a button-up and mine's a polo. Yeah. Yeah, that Here's is a, a button. Up, uh, gotta stop. Okay. Also with us this week is Game Face. Say hello to the people, Game Face. Oh, that's Th- that's me. you, I was Dingleberry. At, I was looking at the yeah the the Chan, the Slacker Chan. Hey, hey, folks, this is the face of the game. That's all I got. Okay, let's move on. And last but certainly not least, this week, hopefully not preparing something gay to hit as soon. Wait, hey, you didn't even let me that? finish before you gate up the podcast. <laughs> You're going to love how we Game ended last week's trailer. Slacker last Chan. Place. Say hello to the people, Slacker Chan. Derpy! That's it. I'm sorry. Uh, it wasn't this week. But he, he, you, you didn't but, say hello to the people. But he it, said you, you didn't even say anything. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. That Derpy. Was, what was that one from? Did they say Derpy and stuff? No, no. The, there was only one time any character I... Okay. Tom needs to okay. know about this. Okay. I need to know. You actually yes. need to know. Because... I need to um, know. In the first, the very first episode, someone made a mistake on the animation with one of the background characters. We're talking ponies here. Yeah, MLP. Talking ponies. Yeah. Who's MLP? talking ponies? Major League ponies. Trying to ignore him one talking in the back. ponies. This is one thing that is worth saying. Though. Yeah. I'll say that. There is one in the back. Uh, just the the... bland looking uh, background pony. <laughs> was Generic extra. Draco blonde name but they messed up the eyes so they looked cro- so it looked Lazy cross-eyed face. yeah like one was looking this way one was looking that it way it was the derp face yeah All the right. derp face and it was an honest mistake okay and the internet spotted it and they were like oh my god it's derpy derpy <laughs> hooves and it's and they ended up it became such a big uh craze yeah, yeah. When season two came around, they specifically made were character. yeah made it an official character like in the background with the dirt eyes, mm-hmm. and then finally, one of the main characters, Rainbow Dash, actually said, "Careful, Derby," called her Derby, right? And it caused a controversy. Why? Because people are stupid. They're like, I "It's a friend show." No, I, heard, like, I thought. I thought people said that it caused a controversy when she actually spoke. Yeah, that too, because of her voice. They were basically like saying, "Oh no, you know, this is making fun of retarded people." Blah blah blah. No, it was actually the opposite. People saying that there was something wrong with the character was offensive. You know, some people are different, and the whole point of the show is love and tolerance. However. There's a bunch of people. It stopped being funny. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I, I did. I did like her better before she talked. Although the the muffin thing was kind of enduring. Muffin. First words in, in the in the whole in the whole series as an actual character is muffin. <laughs> Tim, how many ponies? That's funny. How many ponies are there? Twenty five. Uh, it depends uh, what you mean. Are there a lot of main character ponies? No, just main character. <laughs> Just six. <laughs> Just six ponies. Yeah. The six main characters. Anyway. Who are they? Who are the six? <laughs> okay, Stop. you want to know? Okay. A, he asked. Wait, he asked. I think this is about video games. Yes. The, hey, okay. This well, is this is about, about video, video games. games. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a there's one called Fighting is Magic coming out. I fighting. I I pony gonna... fighting game. <laughs> I thought... I, I thought that... I thought Tom was going to just bludgeon himself with the plastic bat he's been using as a penis for the last five minutes. I'm trying to jerk off at Tim, but he's not looking at me. <laughs> Which makes my antics not fun. If nobody pays it's attention. It's usually Andrew's crotch that we stare at, that I stare. Never mind. Yeah, you stare. You look at He's like, it's like a habit, and I was like, wait a minute. Andrew will just look be like, me, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Look you me in the eye. You haven't looked at my crotch yet. 
that is you have to look at my garage. <laughs> oh yeah, last money really thing. Did you get the text message I sent you? I deleted it immediately. Yeah, I thought yeah, so. I I pulled up on my phone the exact picture. I was like, wait a second. You mean he sent you this? And he's like, yeah, it's the one. <laughs> I yeah, didn't. It was from Christmas Day. Yeah. I decided I would not dignify it with a response. Well, I'm sorry, but whenever someone Inse- just says... Uh, instead, I just vocalized the words, Fuck you, Tim. When I get something happy, like, Happy Easter or Merry Christmas, and it doesn't specifically say my name, I assume it's a mass text, and I hate when people do that on holidays, mass text. It's Merry like, whatever. it goes against everything the holiday stands for. I freaking hate mass texts. Exactly. Say, my so, aunt sends me chain, like, letters, and I have to, like, tell debate to on whether... Well, she's really not... I mean, she's, 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 like, the coolest aunt in the world. And, like, I have to debate whether I'm gonna humor her or just, like, ignore it. And I usually ignore it. And, and I feel bad. Well, usually I only send out mass texts that are, like, Happy Easter, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, that kind of thing. And that's it. Yeah, see, I don't really, like... And then I... Because it's, like... I, I, at first well, you I didn't did. get one from me today because you were sitting right by me when I sent it out. True. But anyway... And I had already wished you a happy Easter anyway. But I take it back. Because That's the only you, time that Anyway, my point was because what was your you point, didn't Tim? specifically state my name. I assumed it was state a mass text. State and I responded, with, well, I responded with... Wait for dramatic effect. Shut up. Shut Rain up. you dash. Rain you dash. Oh, and I came yeah. up See, earlier you said last thing pony related, and now you're going on with it. I did no I was just making the point of That was the last thing pony related? Yeah, you brought that up. Message, oh, no, no, you, no, wait, this he is He brought that no, You're right, this is still an extension of that very But thing. I'm done. I just wanted to bring up that's why I sent it. Oh so my god, thank god. god. It was done finally. Oh, <laughs> Justin Schaefer, you're hurting my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't send it to Schaefer because I don't reply to his text wishing him a happy Easter. <laughs> so where's Megan? <laughs> Ian's so right about that, too. Wait, oh, wait up, I wasn't Megan. even sure if Justin Schaefer had my number. Because I called him one time and, and left a message and never got a response. It really is what would happen I was happen sitting if you at a bar with you on St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. If we were better podcasters, we'd explain it, but we're not. But we can't, because remember the tagline for the movie? Yeah. Don't you, tell anyone what this movie's about. No, you, you, no, you know, don't let anyone tell you what Catfish is about. Yeah, the movie Catfish. Yep, I can tell you what Catfish is about. But then you, you might as well not watch is it. it, it yeah. Is it vagina? Yeah. yeah, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Provocative. Is it about Catfish? I no. can't tell you. It's not about Catfish. Okay, well then that's that, that's like false advertising. Well, I think not. Catfish, no, it's I think not. Cajun food. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. We can't See, explain if it. It's called catfish, and it's not about catfish. Doesn't say it's about catfish. Advertising, and I should sue it's, them for false advertising. No, no, no. I hate things it, like this. If you're gonna suspense me. And you know what else we need to sue? Yeah. The people that what? made the never-ending story because it ended. It ended. It's not advertising. It's not saying this movie's about catfish. Demonstrate perpetual motion on YouTube videos, and it's five minutes and seventeen seconds long of a video. I say it's not perpetual. It ends at five minutes seventeen. I get a lot of dirty looks doing that. Probably if you. No, see, you should get a lot of thumbs up. You you should have like a top-rated comment for that. That's what you should have. Yeah, I wonder if I have not yet. You have one top-rated comment on the Furby series thing. Oh yeah. Oh, that. On the, uh... Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Tim, how late do you stay up? 25. Depends on my schedule. But how late will you stay up tonight? I can't... Tonight? I don't know. But on the week... Uh, when I got work the next day, I cannot stay up later than 4. In the morning? Yeah. What time do you... Okay. Because I have to be working to... I live in Edders, work in Carlisle, so I have to leave my place no later than 1. But you stay so up late, up by is what you're saying. You yeah. stay up late. Not all the time. Sometimes I go to bed early and get up early. And What's early to you? Morning. This is relative, Tim. Early? Getting up early would be like 8 a.m. What's well, going to bed early like to you? 11, midnight. Midnight. What's your address? I'm not putting that on the podcast, Tom. Why? They just want to know. I would tell them, but I don't know it either. 
<laughs> it's in Edders. It's in Edders. They know. They know Tim. You no, know, I we know. mentioned on the podcast I, that okay. it is in Edders. I don't. And know he just said he lived in Edders. his website and bring it down. But I know plenty of people at work who do and would do it willingly. Uh, Waste I don't of know resources. Him. I just know it's in Edders. No, no, because he was saying he would have said it on well, the thing, he, and then I would have been forced to hack well, the website like and take the episode like the down. One of three legal residents of Edders, but uh, then. It's also I his don't brother think is another of the three legal there's residents. Enough, there's of enough there's enough legal residents there yeah, that they built a fucking Walmart on it. That's true. Yeah. Um, so no, you, your so brother, and the third person uh, go to Walmart. Plus, our, our maybe the third resident of Edders is Igmo. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Um, no one knows how to spell Edders. Or, yeah, I, actually. You, it will come up if you specifically search for it in Google, but it will not put it in, like, the search yeah. suggestion. Yeah, it's spelled it like puts, Cheddar. Like, it puts it in, like, Edders, Louisiana or something like yeah. that. I don't know. You guys want to get to the topics? Yes. Sure. Uh, okay. So we have to do that before we can be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what Tom's thinking, because he groans every time he's on this thing, even though he volunteers to be on this thing. No, he doesn't. We, we petition him. We... Because he's got nothing better to do at the moment. 10 o'clock on a Sunday? Hell no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Sleep. Okay. Capcom By has the way, a... happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy, happy, happy Easter. Easter. Capcom has attempted to defend their downloadable content practices by saying that there is no difference between paying for content that is already on the disc and paying for content that they created after the game was released. Okay. That's stupid. No, yep. I, I, I don't want to comment. Disagree, Tim. I disagree. What's the, can we can you reread that? I zoned out. I didn't zone out. I just, I blacked out. Capcom has attempted to defend their downloadable content practices. You know what their downloadable content practice? He hasn't been here for a while. Yeah. Okay. He should have this explained a little bit. Okay. Capcom several times now have basically sold a game. It has a bunch of content on it that actually is not accessible. Then they when sell the game, for man. like thirty dollars, like a hundred and four kilobyte file that unlocks that content that's already on the disc that you bought. Oh, so really? they're making you yeah. pay more money to get everything that you right. already bought. So you paid sixty dollars for this disc, and then you got to pay thirty more for what's already on there to unlock it. Mm. Yeah, that, that's what th- they did that with. Um, and people keep finding out that they're doing this. And, and Capcom do just doesn't care. Yeah. See, yeah. it's 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 part of the whole. Well, they actually have good games coming out. The people who are making these games deserve the money because they, the people who are actually making the games are good people, or the people in charge of the company are complete scumbags. Yeah. And so they're they're coming out with good games, but they're over they're overpricing it and making you charge for stuff I just that's imagine like already a, like been a, made and on the disc I just imagine like a what is it scumbag Steve yeah scumbag, scumbag Steve scumbag <laughs> um, yeah I think it's scumbag Steve scumbag Capcom and it's like <laughs> inclu- extra features included please pay here <laughs> yeah it's like tr- it's kind of like um and then no, and then sold no, separately. It's like you buy your Scumbag car. Sauron. It's like you buy your <laughs> Did car I show you that? with a CD player, but you have to pay the the uh, car company for money to actually let the CD player play. Yeah, it's cut. That, it's that's the basic concept. Like yeah. that's basically what they're doing, hmm. and it's really fucking sorry. They, I think. The very first time they got caught with this was back when they released Resident Evil 5. I don't remember if you remember this or not, but Resident Evil 5 had a multiplayer, a competitive multiplayer mode. Okay. That they were going to release. Now, why would that not come standard to be? Yeah, with? that is with most games. It was on the disc. Yeah. It should have come standard, but it didn't. That they said we're going to make you wait a week, and then you can pay us money to unlock this mode that's already on it, but they didn't tell anybody that it was already on the disc. They said... There's like a server or something you had to pay a subscription for, or like even just like a passcode for it. That's one thing, but that's a service. They just got, um... Not a someone bit. basically bought it, and then downloaded the file, found out that it was only like a hundred kilobits, it wasn't even a meg, and went, there's something wrong here. And they went into the... Fo- they put it in their computer or whatever, searched through the files and found out that 
the files for the multiplayer mode were already on the disc, and they've done it repeatedly since. The latest time that they did it was with uh, their new game, Street, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which... I still like the story about it. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm so, I still like the story from last week about how uh, the uh, Xboxes, they keep your credit card information on like a hidden sector on the hard drive. That doesn't delete when you format and the thing. They, and their response to the allegations are, we're investigating the matter. Like, they don't know who <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I so argued with a guy on YouTube this past week about that. He's, he's convinced that Microsoft saying we're investigating the matter means that they did not Foresee that we would figure it out. That, that, that Microsoft didn't do this, I and the people who did the research are lying to us. I see some guy running around with a troll face, just like changing the code to like suck up personal information and put it in a lockbox, like, like behind the hard drive. Hey, it's always possible. Well, he's walking around with sandals with socks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it always is possible someone who works for Microsoft was pissed at them and they did this. Maybe so they that keep it, it on their server them. too, and it's somehow. Oh, yeah, they put in right. code that clones it onto the hard drive. Right, it's it could possible, be. Well, it's possible someone had it out for, like I said, Microsoft did this, so eventually someone would discover it, and then Microsoft would take the blame for it. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, but this they guy could have just said that isn't supposed to happen. Right, but they didn't. They said we'll look into it. Right, I think I think they're basically looking for a scapegoat. Mm. Like we're looking for a scapegoat. In the meantime, we're saying something that indicates that this wasn't supposed to happen. Wow, way, way, way to finally press an issue that we touched on in last week's episode. Go us! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, anyway. The, no, we, the, the we PlayStation Vita version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken has 12 exclusive characters. And those 12 characters were discovered to be on the discs of the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions of the games. You just can't access them. The code is there, mm. they just don't show up in the menu which almost certainly means that they're going to be sold as downloadable content in the future because Capcom has done this to us before. Mm -hmm. It's retarded. And now they're trying to defend their practices by saying there is no difference between that and actually generating new content and letting people download it, which is the fair way to do it. Mm. What do you disagree with, Tim? Well, I disagree with it, for instance, because um, most, most companies, what they have DLC is either A they couldn't fit on the disc. B, they started developing it, but they ran out of money, and they said, well, let's see how well the game does. If it does well, we'll continue the DLC. Like, I remember there was certain DLC that was supposed to be done for uh, Brutal Legend, but they, uh, EA cut it because... The game didn't, didn't perform sell well. well. Yeah. Um, it should have. Basically, usually how DLC should work is is adding more to the game after it's been completed, like Borderlands. No one saw that Borderlands was going to do as well as it did. It, it, Borderlands came out of nowhere, there was no advertising for it, it just became popular all of a sudden. And every, and this surprised them, and they were like, huh, well we didn't actually get to do all that we wanted to with the game, like they didn't really have any cutscenes or anything like that. So they made four DLC packs that when you put it together, has as much content as the actual game itself. Mm -hmm. And they sold each one individually, eventually they sold them all together. Yeah, they sold a um, separate disc that but, was all of them Yeah, you could even buy a separate a disc. Price. Yeah, too, with all the DLC on it. But the point it is, like 40 bucks. they made and sold it after the fact. It added to the game, and people were willing to pay that money because it was basically, it was adding to the game. It was a However, it was good content. What this is, they literally already made it. It was already on the desk you paid for. They're just like, oh, you want it? You have to pay extra. They might as well sell the game at ninety dollars instead of sixty from the very beginning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I do. I know yeah. what you're saying. I, okay. I hate to sound like I'm praising Call of Duty because I don't like a lot of the things the series is doing now, but they've always done downloadable content right. No, I think yeah. they charge too much for it, but what they well, do is they develop for four it. or five brand new maps, yeah. and then they say, here, you can download them. Right. And that's how it should be done. 
I think they should charge ten bucks for five new maps well, also, instead of oh, fifteen. Sometimes DLC isn't necessary. Uh, the game has to go out before the content that they release on DLCs. Mm-hmm. They can't actually make it without seeing how people actually react to uh, uh, the game. Mm. And I don't just mean sales, mm-hmm. but I mean what people like about it, dis- dislike about it, stuff like that. Especially mm. adding to multiplayer. You know who else does downloadable content very well? What right? about you, Tom? How do you feel about it? I feel... Feel like making love. <laughs> I feel a little bit Unfortunately, gassy. that song isn't on the uh, Bad Company album that I own. Oh. Impartial. It's not their best okay. song. But it's a good song. Yeah. Says so the guy who... I was going to say, you know who else <laughs> does downloadable content, right? And, you, and generally speaking, if they release a piece of downloadable content, it's going to be extremely good. Oh, Bethesda. Oh, yeah, Bethesda they, does it right. And they've always done it right. You, I mean, back before making downloadable content was, and and like massive expansions was very feasible back in like 2003, 2002, when well, they were doing stuff for Morrowind. EA has always kind of done it right too. Um, not just with like a uh, Battlefield, the Battlefield Dead games, Space. But- Huh? Dead Space. Dead Space. Dead Space did, provided right? a good um, amount of free content and, and paid, content, paid content, both. Yeah. Mm. The free content was actually really good to wet your whistle because there was mm-hmm. paid content. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, there gave was... New suits I did out. pay money for some of the downloadable content, actually, on Dead Space. Um, but one I was going to use as an example was... Um, oh, shoot. BioWare? Oh, oh, no. Uh, Battlefield 1943. Now... When you actually downloaded the demo, you actually downloaded the full game. Um, but if you pay to, to unlock it, yeah, you had to pay to unlock it. Now that was different because when I don't that have was a actually with better that, because basically you spent that time downloading the demo, you played the demo, and if you like it enough that you want to buy it, they're like, all right, well, you paid us fifteen dollars, we're not going to make you wait more than a second. Here's the one kilobyte key to unlock the full game. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, that, was, that demo, was actually you unlock the, the full game if you want. That works. And there's a whole lot of demos on Xbox Live that work like that. Like, uh, I don't know if the game was any good, but that uh, Batman game, what was it, Gothic Gotham City Imposters? <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. Cause how do you like, feel about that? But it did the, it did the exact it's same like, thing. Guess what? It's a Batman game. Only it's not. Only real. there's no Batman. <laughs> what is yeah, it's it? kind of weird, but the, it, it did that thing where you download it, you download the full game, but yeah. it's you only get a trial version of it, and if you like it, you can. How could there be no Batman in a Batman? Game? Exactly. <laughs> what, what is the game? It's, about? A, de- it's a death match game with like the Batman world painted onto it, basically. It's, oh. it's what was it called? Gotham City and Gotham City Imposters. It's like a bunch of guys running around who want to be Batman oh, dressed as Batman funny, and some Joker. There's some basically. funny dialogue. There's some funny dialogue in that. It starts off like they have a recruit and like they're trying to initiate him. And uh, there's like this one guy who's kind of slow and uh, um you look out the window you're sitting there it's like first person and you look out the window and there's a they're talking about how anonymous their location is and then out the window you can clearly see like a billboard or like the side of a bank or something no it was a sign it was like a sign and it's like hey uh hey bumpo didn't i give you the task yesterday of uh covering up all the signs and the vicinity within (laughs) Within view of this building, oh yeah, well I ran out of paint or something like that. Mm. I don't know. It's I, I, I can't do it justice, but it's funny. Okay. It's funny, funny, funny. Arizona wants to pass a law that would make trolling on the internet illegal. Ah. But then it wouldn't be the internet. Is that the whole article? That's the whole news article. Basically, th- that's th- the talking point. Yeah. No, it depends what you mean trolling. Trolling in the sense that it costs someone money or it hurts someone. Mm-mm. That's already in this joke. I read the definition this that I read of the... It can fall under other offenses if it gets that bad. So. Yeah. The, the definition of it that I read was, like, very broad, and it sounds like if you so much as call someone an idiot, even if they're being an idiot, you, yeah, that, you might be prey yeah, to this, this law. Like, uh, this sounds like a restriction on freedom of speech. Yeah, it like. kind of is, and I agree that at their... 
there, a lot of trolling on the internet is ridiculously out of control. Control. And, oh. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. And control. People take shit way too goddamn far with trolling to the mm. point where. Well, it goes. It, is people, it affects them outside of the internet, and well, you that's know not what? cool. You Can know you give what? us an example of that trolling, kind of trolling? Trolling wouldn't be a problem if people didn't take everything so goddamn seriously on the internet. Hacking. Huh? Well, yeah, hacking is already. I mean, well, hacking yeah. is hacking. It's illegal. And harassment is well, harassment. A lot of like people use people. harassment and hacking as a form of trolling. Harracking. Well, yeah, but those two things are already illegal. Yeah. There's really no reason for this. It just sounds like uh, another thing them trying to take away more of our rights. They I bet like the law makes the, gov- the, gov- the internet is the government's worst enemy. Yeah, exactly. I bet the lawmakers don't know what trolling means, and they think it's something way worse than they what it actually like is. People hiding like under overpasses. They with clubs. probably think it's something a. a, a you know, attuned to skull fucking when it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're like, we gotta get rid of this trolling. Let's pass a law. And that's what this is about. Don't worry, the internet will rise up to strike it down. Damn. Well, I doubt this will get anywhere. It is scary. It's, I doubt, well, yeah, it's a it scary thought, but I doubt that this will get anywhere. I mean, inter- I've, heard now, I honestly, I've heard, like, articles, like, on the radio, like, stories on the radio about how, like, social networking and, like, Twitter and stuff are, like, the newest, like, you know, forces of justice. Right. Yeah. And, I, and, like, transparency. What's, yeah, what's it's scary crazy. is, I really think that, uh, if it wasn't for the internet, we could have possibly lost our constitution by now. Goodbye, constitution. Rate, yeah, at the rate well, we've been going. The internet is, For like, Cold War. the best yeah. thing in the world and the worst thing in the world at the exact same time, you know? Yeah, just like, the, just like human nature. And, and they kind of want to take off the worst thing in the world part of it, but like you, you said, the problem with that is you you're going to step on fix, people's free speech. You can't, fi- you can't fix people, and you can't You can't force... fix stupid. Well, no, no, you can't. No, I was going to say is... You, Both wrong, right? You no. can't change human nature. Nope. Like the only, the only way stricter laws don't make better people. They you know, just cause resentment. You know how you're gonna make a a better world is by Being helping better. people learn. Buying a jetpack. How to make yes. them? <laughs> is to help mm. people learn how to make themselves a better person. Mm-hmm. Well, that's true, but you still need a jetpack. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, because there's a lot of people out there. Wait, mm-hmm. wait, mm-hmm. a jetpack. water jetpack. Mm-hmm. Ooh. No, they, there really is one of those. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, but you have to be on a tether. I've seen them. Yeah, that's because of how much water it requires, but it's more feasible than fire that will burn you to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, now, if it can somehow catch its water, then I was getting really stupid. No, that's actually a good idea. Not really? Where would the energy mm-hmm. come from? pump it, you need to have like a... Mm-hmm. You sound like you're really well, enjoying something. We need some to get Tony Stark to mm. That's what we need. Yes. Speaking of which, the Avengers. I just want to. Now he's batsturbating. I want to see if I can yeah. just. Oh my! Right into Tim's gut. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh so so what? It's not going to pass. Yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to pass yeah. either. It's not going to matter. But it's it's more than worth mentioning. This is this will probably get thrown out just like the law that we talked about a couple of weeks I, I, ago I when you were like, hosting. I still like how uh, uh, yeah. I still like how one of the splash pages on Minecraft says "sopa" is Swedish for stupid or something like that. Wait, have you seen that? What what does it say? "Sopa" is Swedish, Swedish for, for like shit or something. Something uh, like that, uh, idiot. Yeah, it's something like that. Or, yeah. Idiot, you know, poo poo. Urine. I don't know. Sopa was an extremely Dude, bad idea, and except for Sopa and the rope, it's practically dead in the water. Because a whole, I mean, Sopa and the rope is dead in the water. No, I, Sopa I is dead in the water. Um, I dropped my Sopa and the rope the other day. It was dead in the water. They, because uh, the whole most of the lawmakers realize that by supporting Sopa, they are losing a whole lot of uh, voters funding that too and they don't want to lose their funding so it took people having their funds threatened to, for them to realize everyone wants to have fun especially girls especially Tim Tim just wants oh, to have Tim fun just wants to look have at fun. you Tim okay look at you oh Tim 
Look at his hat. <laughs> no, you, you got the pimp hat. I got the pimp hat. Look yeah. at my hat. Let's get a picture Station of Station bell. What's the, what are we talking about next, Josh? Okay. Bioware announced that the Mass Effect announced something called the Mass Effect 3 Extended Cut Downloadable Content, which basically adds more content and more scenes onto the ending of Mass Effect 3 that will give it clarification and supposedly more closure for all the fans that got to the end and went, What the hell? Because there were a lot of those. And the best part about this, it will not cost anything. Shocking coming from EA, but it will be free. The worst company in America. Yeah, they were. <laughs> no, <laughs> they were voted Capcom. the worst company in America. American. Oh, why? Capcom's not American. Oh. Dummy. Yeah, they were voted the worst company in America TV because TV. Capcom is an American. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why was EA? Or why were they voted though? What was the uh, decision? I guess it was like the consumerist or somebody had a poll where they had a shit ton of American companies. Walmart was in it, McDonald's was in it, Burger King, GameStop, Best Buy, EA, Yay. Bank of America, a shit ton of them. And they just have like McDonald's brackets, almost like to be. almost like the no. Sweet Sixteen McDonald's brass so brackets for co- for college basketball. Pretty... You know. Let me just say something. No, let me just you say know something why? about because when I'm listening to Pandora, I have to listen to stupid advertisements from McDonald's. Like, not drinking a Coke with your McDonald's fries. Wait. That's like waking up without a wife. It's like not having tires on your car. It's, it's like, still not good. No! 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 I hate you! I want to burn you to the ground! Well, somebody obviously burned the McDonald's to the ground yeah, because it's gone. In the area, we just drove past it. Yeah, I been saw there since it. I was a pup. And it's just oh. gone. <sighs> it is. I, I just stared at, in disbelief at the empty lot for a couple of seconds while we were sitting by it yesterday. And then I went, What right? happened? <laughs> and then you turn and you were like, Whoa! Ah! What happened? <laughs> vacant lot. Uh, vacant uh, yeah, lot. we noticed that when we went to pick up um, Ian, uh, I was like, Wait a The McDonald's is gone! It was there like two weeks ago, I swear to fucking God! Like, seriously, when did they tear it down? Did I, I they don't know. It, Re- it had to be recently. It's like they just came out like it's coming down. That's a nice McDonald's you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway. Oh, wait, what was the, what were we talking about? Oh, was Mass this? Effect. Oh, oh. Did you hear did anyone... about the huge controversy over the Mass Effect ending and how pissed off I did. I were. followed it. And I, I could see how they'd be angry, because apparently, isn't it a game that's, you're unlimited, unlimited choices? Yeah, it's like you have really a large number of choices thing. across the three games that were supposed to affect the ending, and apparently none of them did. It didn't. It yeah. just it matter. It them in that it's a different time of day when you get to them, because it, <laughs> it, alters, it alters the length of time that you spend playing the game. But... It only comes down to, like, six decisions in the end. That's it? It comes down to one decision. There's one decision that gives you one of three potential endings, and all three endings are almost exactly identical. Is this Does this play like Knights of the Old Republic, this game? Uh, similar, but more advanced. Does it play like Brute Force? Do you remember that game? Uh... Wasn't there an original really Xbox des- game? Describe. Yeah. Uh, I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. It's it's hard to describe what it's like. Honestly, um, Mass Effect. Besides amazing, it is amazing. It's like but- it's part- partly kind of like those old fashioned RPGs where you had to choose what you would say and what you were doing next. Mm-hmm. And that it's also what happens if you say Sean. It's also a cross with that and kind of like a third person shooter. Mm. Um, yeah, the combat is is a basically it's third person shooting, <laughs> but, but you but just like an RPG, you have a hey, whole shitload of guns to choose from and upgrades for the guns and fucking. And it's just this huge kind of, like it it it's an epic. Hey, hey, can, hey can you imagine a uh, second person? It's a shooter? space opera. You watch from the per- point of view of the person getting shot in the face. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed about it. I was kind of just angry watching, like I watching it unfold, having it be that way. I saw the ending too. I watched it because I'm not. I haven't play. seen the ending, so please don't spoil it yeah. for me. But okay. I haven't gotten to play Mass Effect three yet. I love on, one and two. From what I understand, it utter bullshit. Uh, on that note, um, my one 
my one friend, uh, Aaron at work, co-worker, he's a big uh, fan of the Mass Effect series, and he too, of course, was upset about it, but he was like, he's like, he's like, he was mentioning how it better be good because he's seen fan endings that are hell of a lot better than what they came up with. But um, yeah. one thing he said is, he's like, he's like, no, seriously, I, I, I want to work on a mod that cha- turns all the characters into black women and call the mod Sass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, anyway, anyway I-, I was happy to hear this and I was very happy that it's free, they're not going to charge anybody for additional ending to the game because that would have been serious bullshit. I hope this clears up things with the Mass Effect ending and I fear that it no matter what it does, people are going to be pissed if, off. Even they could have made a lot of money on that. Yeah, and I'm surprised they didn't because EA's in charge. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. Um, mm. Even even if they're getting it for free, even if they still kind of don't like it, the fans at least should be happy that well, at least they did this for Bioware listened to them. They listened to our complaints and they tried to fix it and they gave it to us for free. Even if it still sucks, they should be happy. Yeah. It, 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 it's the very least a small the victory for the fans and proof that... If still not happy with the ending, they should go out, read some fucking fan fiction, and choose what ending they want. Because yeah. that was the whole point of the game anyway, was to choose your path. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's the whole point of all three games, is you choose your path throughout the entire series. And, like, I can confirm that decisions you make in Mass Effect 1 change how the story plays out in Mass Effect 2. And I have never had another game that did that. And it was awesome. Like, oh, this one character is dead, so she he's not in Mass Effect 2, but this other character did live, so she's in Mass Effect 2. And I meet up with her, and depending upon how I treated her in the first game, fucking she'll react differently to seeing me again and stuff like that. It was awesome. So, it's not like Bioware couldn't do that with the ending of Mass Effect 3. They just didn't. And I think it has a lot to do with EA knowing that this series makes fucking bank. It makes a shitload of money. And EA, being the money horse that they are, said, Mm -hmm. you know what, we want it to continue past the third game. I think that's what happened. Mm. Mm. Let's look at the door. (laughs) (laughs) But hey, regardless, how's my how's my sound signal look on there? Um, a lot better when you lean into the mic. Okay, I was contemplating going and getting the double mics to compensate for the fact that I'm not wearing a headset tonight. Well, because well, I you know, am. Like you did that one night. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. That actually ended up sounding pretty good too. Yeah, I, I am. But it, it it's fine when you lean into the mic when when you're like back like this. When you're back, when you're like back away from the mic, it doesn't pick you up nearly as well. But other than that, it's mostly fine. Your bat's crooked. Oh, it is. It it's cool to know Tim's that even if EA is in charge, Bioware still gives a shit what their fans think because that's how they've always been, and it's nice to know that they haven't changed that. And they also like gay people. I like yeah. Clearly, I mean. They're all right. Yeah, there's like, if you want to make Shepard, no, if you want to make Shepard gay in uh, the third one, you have a lesbian option if you're female and a gay male option if you're male. All your your choices are much more expansive if you decide to make Shepard I straight. Could, I remember you could. I remember you could do that with uh, Fable, and I watched there as Addie Simon played a uh, cross-dressing male character and. Laughed for a half an hour. <laughs> She's getting all these guys from bars. Uh, um, <laughs> the screen would go black in his <laughs> no, no, I just remember. Fo- I just remember what's his name, Andrew, playing through Dragon Age One and being like all proud because he made his character gay or something. <laughs> he could pull it off. Remember, remember the character he made up for uh, Saints Row. Was it Saints Row, <laughs> creepy, like naked. Golem-looking thing. <laughs> no, 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 that 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 was Chris. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was Chris. <laughs> yeah, What's was up? Chris. Look, yeah. Okay, New York State has banned three thousand five hundred and eighty sex offenders from 
being That's able to get online. Confused. I thought you said 305, how many? 3,000, 3,580. Okay, that's why I was confused earlier about what kind of offenders, because I thought you said 3,586 offenders. Sex offenders. <laughs> Sex offenders. So, uh, Sassafras. Sassafrax. Uh, all Space travel. Sass- uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> that's just funny. Aaron's a funny guy. He's we named last week's troll, episode though. Space Shuttle. Nice. Do you not like trolls, Tim? Are you not I a fan of no, no, I said Aaron I, is a troll. I, who came up with Sass Effect. I understand. No, he's actually funny about it. Like, he's actually... Yeah, he's not only really good at being a troll, but he's good at not taking it overboard. Like, and he's a big... Yeah, he's a big WoW player. And the admins are constantly telling because they're constantly getting complaints about him. They're like... We really are, our bosses keep bugging us to ban you, but we don't because you're too damn funny. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like what does he do? Oh my god. Tell um, me. He tries to tell me the wow stuff, and I tune the wow stuff out. Like one of the other stuff he tells me, um, I I do laugh hysterically. A good example would be when he was trolling Josh. <laughs> I was counter, oh, yeah. and I was counter trolling him. Uh, he didn't see it as trolling. He thought you were honestly arguing with him. I was yeah, counter trolling. You, you sound like that when you. But anyway, that—that's the beauty of said trolling is he didn't even know. It's not funny if you don't know. It yeah, depends. If you're um, another perspective, who does get. It. But anyway, would you uh, say I take my trolling too far, Tim? No, you don't troll. You're just a griefer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Griefers. So. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at it. I New, think you're New York. ass. With an ass for an ass. You see, the trick to ass. it is putting, is being willing, is willing to put a great effort into something that won't really be that funny in the long run. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> That's what, it's a waste to be just willing to throw away qu- mass quantities of time. That's it's like when we bought Paul a cell phone. And we gated it up. <laughs> well, that's so funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was. Just like ma- endless amounts of effort. Just ridiculous. Like if someone with something so simple would look at it and think they must have just done this, but really they didn't, and they went above and beyond the call of troll. That was kind of disturbing, right there. That's yeah, what makes um, it funny. Anyway. So, the topic I announced? Pedophiles. What topic? Pedophiles? The, the New yeah. York banned 3,850 sex offenders from being able to game online. And they're actually getting su- they're getting support from like Microsoft and Sony and Apple for this. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with that. Neither do I. They, um, they, didn't want to get, they didn't want trouble in life. Maybe they should have been a sex offender. The obvious reason for this is because it 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 knocks out another way for them to get into contact with basically Kids. underage people, and nobody wants that. Even especially if, the children. Even if yeah. usually the most popular online games are games that kids shouldn't be playing like in the first Call place. Duty. Yeah, like Call of Duty. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> but the reason they shouldn't be playing it is because of the violence. It's because it's a horrible. Well, they got substitute games for them that they can well, play. Well, there are kids that play. Booty. There are kids that play like Battlefield online too. There's a lot of them too. Yeah, um, but Battle. Uh, they shouldn't be playing that because Battle. Be because it's no, violence. Like, well, no, because violence. it's too realistic. Um, because there's a lot of vets who literally they come back, they play Battlefield like Bad Company Two or Battlefield Three, and they have to they have to stop. Um, because they start having flashbacks. In their living rooms? Yeah, because the noises are actual real noises, whereas in Call of Duty it sounds like a toy fucking gun. Um, they actually record live shots from different distances, and they go really all out to try to make Battlefield as realistic as possible. Not just sounding wise, but visually too. So there are except there are, there's the occasional exception to a game being really popular online and it not being overly well, like violent, my, like my Mario Kart was... and Yeah, but Mario Kart's a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> a little big planet. 
It's a little good. I mean, whoa. whoa. Well, it is the, the character is called Sack Boy. Sack Boy. A yeah, little big plan. It's I about people being creative. <laughs> creativity is gay. Yeah, creativity is kind of gay. It is a little raw guy. We just want to look like everyone else here on Press the Action. Wait, you know what isn't gay? What? Batman Arkham <laughs> Asylum. What or Arkham it? City. I was going to say, did you finally get a play? Arkham City. No! I want to so badly. Why do you want Do you have a PlayStation 3? No, because Chris Brown stole it. So if you put, and sold it for heroin money. Does he so do heroin now? The, yeah, I, I, I didn't know where you were going with that, and I gotta say, I am disappointed. I am bad people. Okay. Oh, there's another one? Team Meat is bringing Rats. Super Meat Boy to the iOS devices, which is like the iPhone and the iPad. iOS. And they are going to rebuild the game from the ground up to oh. actually make for it work on once, an iPad. They actually had that on its original platform. It's, wow. Well, first of all, they have to build this from the ground up because there is no way that game is going to work without physical controls oh, on an uh, iPad, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's true. There is no I way... I it on uh, D-Pad's PC last night. It was a nightmare. You got pretty far. I was, well, Yeah, I was on a bus. Uh, playing it on a PC, you could so actually get... You, you, once you get used to the controls, you could actually do it. Do you have but, it on there? Yeah. But playing it on a... Playing it on an iPad, it would just be like sluggish because basically all any and all platformers. <laughs> Wait, oh crap! I can't get the headset on over my hat. <laughs> Ladies and, and gentlemen, Teabag has left the building. I'll be back. He's, he's playing. Play, he's, he's going to go to play, play Super. He Meat just Boy. realized we had a Super Meat Boy on console <laughs> instead of PC. He's like, oh shit! I can't play this. It's okay. It's show right goes there. on. Show, yeah. show go on. Oh, hang on. This. I don't freaking need this. I think. What? It, dude. Am I this is all corporation y. What did you do? You used the connect. I had to plug in four. And there's yeah, only I know. three. <laughs> I'm just trying to Fuck figure out you. what's plugged in where. Did you give up already? No, he hit me uh, in the balls with a little toy car. <laughs> <laughs> like like you do. Hang on a second. Choose Alex's or wait, where's Alex? Oh, okay. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, it looks like... Alex, which one? Yes, yours? that's mine. I just made him like, really ridiculous looking. <laughs> I tried, I was like, what can I do that's ridiculous? Okay. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to imagine any version of Super Meat Boy running on an iOS device and it not sucking. Well, I've seen games um, on iPad that actually use the corners of the screen like an old school uh, control pad. Even then, it doesn't work as well with an actual I still say pad. Apple it never sucks. does. Yeah, but it would be better than using a keyboard, as we saw demonstrated okay, previously. I'd rather I use a, a keyboard to play Super Meat Boy than ever no the, controls at all. Did you guys ever uh, it would read, be controller. The pad itself would be the controller. Did you guys ever read the article no. that Apple put out explaining why they don't support Flash? Even though, like, 80% of the internet uses it? No. Because they're stupid? I don't okay. read to simplify basically the reasoning, let's put it this way. It's like saying, well, we want to help prevent car crashes, so we're going to remove the gas pedal. <laughs> it's like saying, well, most the majority of accidents are caused by you putting your foot on the gas pedal, so we're going to take away the gas pedal. It's because they want to support um, things that are better than Flash, like HTML5 and other coding like that. I don't understand that. However, that doesn't mean you shouldn't support Flash at all when most of the internet still uses it. Because you stop supporting... I support guess they see it as they don't want to be part of the problem? They, yeah, they, no, is is yeah, Flash basic, really a problem? No, it isn't. To them it is. To them it is because it's not the most efficient and it's the best. Flash to them, um, it's the internet to their government. Let's put it this way. Instead of... Their, their idea is they're trying to force other people to switch. However, instead of forcing other people to switch... Um, when they have, they already know Flash inside and out, and they don't know this new coding as well. Instead of trying to have to redesign the website altogether for Mac users, they just say, "Well, we're not supporting Mac. Sorry." Oh. More people are saying we're not going to support Mac then. Instead of good, because I hate Apple. I really hate Apple. Them. Yeah, it's going to run them out of business. Well, yeah, maybe. No, they're not going yes. out of business. No, they're not going to go soon. out of business because. But eventually, the people are going to catch on to the crap that they're being snobbish bastards. They're they're 
products are not nef- their products are good, but not better than everything else. Yeah. The other characters, Super Meat Boy, um, I'm not sure. It always just kind of comes up. That's okay. That's true. I don't care. It don't no matter to the Jesus. <laughs> They really should. There you I go. Mean, seems like not supporting. I guess not unlocked yet. Uh, I just have Captain Video. Commander Video. Or Commander Video, and there was another one with some girl that made me really, really, really mad. What's the difference between the characters? Do they have different powers. They have different uh, me- uh, mechanics. Like this guy can like stop in midair, which makes like this level a cakewalk. Yeah. Well, th- otherwise this level is a fucking pain. They have no idea what we're talking about, but it's yeah, like the Super third Meat level Meat of the hospital Super section in Super Meat Boy, and you have to like switch back and forth between. <laughs> they're like torrents of like they're like waterfalls of like rusty needles. needles. <laughs> a boom. <laughs> um, boom. Face plate. You're like hello ground. Oh. oh. Try going on the other side. And just fall down there. Oh! Man, it's uh, still hard. They, they, they just okay, yeah, try anyway. to make let's, it. Let's up. pay all the attention to Tom, so he can't. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so is there any other topics? No, that was all the five cool. topics. You guys want to watch some Super Meat Boy? It, sure. Ri- wow, that was like the tiniest death trap. Can in the any world, of you imagine you Super Meat Boy on working in any form I, on an iOS device? I just explained that. If you use the, you know, you can barely see your character. It's kind of awesome. It's very ninja-like. They're awesome. gonna have to. Well, awesome. if they're gonna do that and make it not suck, they're gonna have to seriously slow down the uh, the, the speed of the game. Do you know, do you know what I'm talking about with the iPad thing, where you turn it sideways yeah. and you hold it by the corners, and you have a. It's just there's no buttons. It's just all touch sensitive. Yeah, and the complete lack of buttons makes the controls. Sluggish just about every <laughs> single time, so you have to. You so can you're get it to work about with the actual sl- response time, rather. Yeah, than and you need fast response time for this. And you know, there's my uh, Minecraft for smartphones, which I'm actually kind of curious about how that works. I heard there's a top-down Minecraft version pocket, top-down version. Yeah, or something like that. So Are you talking about Minecraft pocket it's a top-down or whatever? Version of Minecraft. Yeah, I know. I don't know I'm, what top-down means. It means it's a t- an overhead view. Uh, like, like like the Legend original of Zelda. Zelda games. Oh, okay. I don't know what it Tom, looks like. Meat Boy would be a lot better for this episode. Level thing. Minus the bear. A bear. A bear. Station bear. bear. They have to watch that now. <laughs> we shall watch that after All we right. finish with the podcast. So do we want to wrap it up and watch some uh, small animations? I suppose we could do that. Actually, you know what? I'm we should not sure watch? I understand this. We should watch A Hundred Ways to Die in Skyrim. Which is hilarious. I, I thought I've you were going to say, let's watch watched 100 Ways yet. to Die, and I was going to be like, no. No. In, in I, haven't, I haven't watched that video That's yet. That's kind of funny. I know of it, I know of it. I just haven't watched it yet, which you'd think Death of how by... much Skyrim I've played, I would have watched it. <laughs> suicide to- by Cactus. <laughs> especially towards the end, there's uh, one that um, uh, makes a Minecraft Eight. reference. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> they, they, they make a lot of references. They make a lot of references to other games in that one. Yeah. I mean, uh, games and movies are... both. They actually have like that's a nice dragon call you've got there. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I don't remember like where it is. It. I don't remember where it is in a game, but th- there is one Easter egg that's like has a sword that I think it was just called. I think they actually called it the lightsaber, and it's got a dead guy hanging upside down. Like Luke and hanging upside down from the frozen ceiling of the cave, like Luke in Empire Strikes Back. Jeez, which is a which is a really cool little thing. And I saw a video of that, and I got a top-rated comment just because I said, um, "Who put Star Wars in my Skyrim? Give that guy a raise." <laughs> <laughs> that was all I said. People loved that, it. That is actually a cool story, bro. And I don't mean that nice sarcastically. Nice narrative, comrade. Nice nar- Oh, good oh, one. What, what are you, Russian now? Yeah. Yes. It's the Bizarro cool, uh, CSB. CSB? Yeah. Like okay. CSBN. Cool story, bro. Not. We should end this before I start playing more ponies again. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it to it, hombres. 
Okay, this has been another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital com. I don't think that's hooked up, Tom. No, it isn't. Here, I'll, you want, shall I hook it up? Or no, do I just yell no, into my I'm head? I'm yelling into Tim's face like I'm kissing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he's going to keep that pressing was... pony buttons until actually, you get out of his actually, face. Right. Right. That, okay, you did that with this has been another timing. edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital com. As always, I am your host, Joystick. With me this week was Game Face. Say goodbye, Game Face. Bye, folks. Also with me this week was Slacker Chan. Say goodbye, Slacker Chan. <laughs> what Bye. the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> Big Mac. Oh. Anyway. It sounded like uh, Bill Dotry. Yeah, dead. Wait. <laughs> It would have been a lot better if it was Bill. Snoopy Doo. Oh. Would have been a lot better if it was Bill Dotree. Whoa! What? What? <laughs> yes, what he said. Okay, this is that was she. That's what she said. But. I've heard that about equines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And too busy to say goodbye is Steve Egg, so... Uh, I'd like to point out that Psychrochan hasn't said hello or goodbye when prompted today. That's how every pony was wearing their mane back then. God, I'm going to have to find more sound effects. <laughs> that didn't make sense. I wasn't trying to make sense, I'm just, uh... Okay, you made it the whole show without doing that, okay. sort of. No, he, he, he started the show by doing that. Yeah, but he didn't do it... He, he quit... Pr- no, he didn't. Let's, 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 the, the end. The end. More derpy. The end, anyway, bye. Okay, bye. What did she say? I we just will... don't know what went wrong. Oh. We will talk to you guys. I don't know why I sounded like freaking Scooby-Doo there. You mean Scooby-Doo. <laughs> we will talk to you guys next week. It's baseball season. Go Rangers. Bye.